Hey guys, I'm Danny of Friendly Neighborhood Colorist, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to export and then import a node tree into DaVinci Resolve. To export a node tree, we must first go to the color page and open up your gallery palette. So here I have a clip with the grid already done, and in order for us to save this grid with the node tree, we must save it in the form of stills. And to grab a still, you can simply go over to the viewer, right click anywhere, and select Grab Still then your still will appear in the gallery in whichever album that you're in. So this still is not just a screenshot of what we have in our viewer, it actually contains the whole node tree that we have here. In order for us to see the node tree within this still, you can right click on the still, go down to display node graph, and you can see the exact node tree that was used to create this clip. So the node tree will be contained within this still. All we have to do to export a node tree is to export this still. To do that, you can right click on the still, Go down to export and select where you want to put the still. I'm going to simply put it in my DRX file and attach a JPEG file with it. If you want to rename it, you can do it up here as well. Let's name this Tokyo Night. And I can go down to export and that's how you export your node tree. So to import a node tree, you can go back to the folder that you have exported the node tree. You will see two files attached within your folder. One is a DRX file and the other one is the image file which is a JPEG. You can choose either one of these files because they both contain a node tree within them. And to import it into DaVinci Resolve, you can simply drag on a file into your gallery and it will appear as a still. And let's check whether the node tree is inside this still. You can right click and go down to display node graph and you can see the exact same node tree. So that's how you export and import node trees in DaVinci Resolve. If you want to take it one step further, there is another type of album in our gallery which is called a power grid album. You can create a power grid album by simply right clicking in the gallery albums and add a power grid album. Power grid albums are different from still albums in a way that still albums only will appear in this particular project. But if I put a still in the power grid album, it will appear in all past and future projects. So let's say there's a template node tree that you want to use for all your projects, for example, my visionary power grids. You can add a power grid album here, double click on it to rename it. I'm going to simply put visionary power grids. And within this power grid album, I can import the visionary power grids pack, which are these four DRX files into my power grid album. And just like that, I have four node graph templates that I can use, which is the commercial, the pro, the advanced and the beginner very easily at the tip of my fingers. So whenever I start a new project, I don't have to recreate the whole node tree or I don't have to import a node tree from a different project. I can just put them all in my Power Grid album. My visionary Power Grids are currently on version 5.1, but I'm working on version 6 already. So all the updates on my Power Grids are free. So if you're interested for a more organized workflow, you can subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss it when it comes out. I will do a full breakdown on the whole node tree, but if you want to save your time, then you can purchase it as well. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.